this is Animat, and welcome back to the Muppet Vlog. Now this time we're going to be looking into the fifth episode of the Muppet Show, which features Rita Moreno. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with her, I must say, oh my god, she is such a multi-talented and fabulous performer. And yes, I have to call her a performer because just calling her just an actress or a singer or a dancer or stuff like that, it doesn't do justice. She is multi-talented and she really does some amazing work in several fields. In fact, she is one of the very few people in this world that actually got the EGOT. Now, I just want to make something clear that apparently the last time I mentioned about the EGOT, I think it was with Joel Grey, uh, I kind of did a mistake with one of the letters. Now, let me just clarify a little bit. Now, she won the Oscar for the groundbreaking performance she has done as Chica Rivera in West Side Story. She got a Tony Award for The Ritz. She got an Emmy Award for... Uh, her guest appearance in the Rock Fez, and to my amazing discovery, she actually won another Emmy Award for this! For her guest appearance in The Muppet Show! Apparently you can get that! Which, honestly, I find that really amazing that I just watched an Emmy-winning performance. And also, she got a Grammy Award for, for pretty much being as part of uh, The Electric Company. And yes, by the way, it is the Grammy Award, not the Golden Globes. But it still kind of proves my point that the Golden Globes are kind of useless in a way. Like, nobody's really that impressed if you're nominated or you won a Golden Globe, really. It's just, eh, no one really cares much. And also, I just want to add that um, even afterwards that she got the EGOT, she managed to get, like, so many Lifetime Achievement Awards and stuff like that. And just going through the list, uh, she got, she was in the International Latin Music Hall of Fame. She got the Presidential Medal of Freedom. She got the Hollywood Walk of Fame. She uh, she got the National Medal of Art. She's in the Latin. Gra uh, she got the Latin Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award. Uh, she got the Screen Actors Guild Lifetime Achievement Award, and the list goes on. She, so basically, as you could tell, she's quite a phenomenal performer, and pretty and like she is groundbreaking in pretty much every artistic field that you can imagine okay maybe not all of them like i don't know if she's a good painter or stuff like that but eh, i don't know you never know so anyways going back into the actual episode it's actually very interesting to point out that this is the first ever episode that aired on television on september 18th 1976 according to wikipedia over here that um, like, this was the one that fully introduced everybody to The Muppet Show. And it's actually quite interesting to put that in note because I noticed that this actually has something that doesn't have, and that is a story. Now, the funny thing about this episode is that this is, it really shows that this is the kind of introduction to show you all the things that The Muppet Show has to offer. It is literally filled with some of the well-known sketches that would go on. This is the introduction to Veterinarian's Hospital, which I will admit it is funny, but it is kind of weird at one point that often they would just pause whenever they would do a gag. Like when Rolf would mention, oh, I just saved 500. What, patients? No, dollars. And that he also lost 500 pounds. What, in weight? No, in England. Somehow that ringtone... It just, it was like, it did accordingly to my jazz hands. But along with that, they also included many of the other sketches, including Muppet News Flash, At The Dance, Swedish Chef, uh, the Pressing Questions, Wayne and Wanda, Fozzie Bear, and like, like, they pretty much put most of them and include them all in here. Plus the fact that we do have a uh, special guest, Lita Moreno, uh, trying to perform uh, several different things in a way that only the Muppets can deliver like in like the first one It was a tango where she's pretty much beating the crap out out of I presume to be this like her ex-lover or something like that I don't know like it's a it's a tango But also a bar fight as well and then there was the closing act where she tries to sing fever but she always gets interrupted with animal going crazy on the drums and stuff like that. I mean, like, they only ask him just to do the small symbols. Animal cannot just do small symbols. Like, he needs to do 
full-out drum solo, if you guys know Animal. Even in backstage, there is no story to tell. It's only a running gag where Fozzie picks up the telephone and literally something comes out. It's enjoyable, it's great. Um, it's definitely classic mup it's pretty much classic Muppet humor, but it, like it, it's rather it's it's rather weird, I gotta say, that there's no uh there's absolutely no story to coincide. So I guess I could see how there this is just an introduction. And I gotta say that in terms of like Rita Morendo's performance in there, like she's definitely great and um, even in terms of the special guests that, uh, I've seen so far, like, she definitely does stand out. She's definitely a lot of fun in the pressing questions, like, when she played her character. Um, that was actually a lot of fun to see. And even when she was in, uh, what was it? Yeah, well, like, when she's in the talk spot, that was highly enjoyable. That's one of the, that's actually one of the more enjoyable talk spots that I've seen, so... Uh, Reno Moreno did such an absolute good job in there, and no wonder she won the Emmy, so that's actually pretty cool. I did not know that special guests in The Muppet Show can actually win Emmys to do that. That's actually really awesome. Come to think of it, why the fridge didn't, like, Kermit or Fozzie get an Emmy? Like, you'd think they would get one or something like that. I don't know, maybe down the line they'll get, like, some kind of a, a Lifetime Achievement Awards. They got it at this point. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I would say that overall, it's a very interesting episode. Like, it's definitely, like, on its own, this is actually a really good episode. It's a lot of fun, it's highly enjoyable, but would I recommend this as the first episode? Uh, kinda. I would definitely include this in the Muppet Show starter pack, where... This is definitely one of the first ones that you need to check out, but I wouldn't immediately use it as the first episode, like, maybe the second or third, just to give you a good example of the tempo, the humor, and the style of what The Muppet Show is. But to fully understand The Muppet Show, like, what, what the show usually is, I wouldn't really go with this one. I would go with one that actually has a story to fully show what The Muppet Show really is about, including having a story behind it so we know what's going to be going on. But other than that, I would say this is still a great episode and definitely worth watching. And that's pretty much it for this Muppet Vlog, so let's see what the next one has in store and what other award-winning performances await us. So until next time, see you later dudes!